Hi there, and welcome to Dee Dee Blooms. I am back out here on my patio, and there is one orchid, one very special orchid, that I totally skipped on my patio time uh, orchid videos that I recently posted last weekend. And this special orchid is here uh, within, like really sheltered within my patio up against the sliding doors. And um, I just totally skipped right over it from when I was showing you guys my my Aussie dendrobiums. And um, this is my Lelia uh, catarthron and then my Encyclia phoenicia, which I was beaming about. Uh, the, the spike here is still working its way and this definitely looks like a spike as well down in there. Um, so if you watch those and kind of remember this area, I totally skipped over this little gem of an orchid. This is my Dendrobium bellatulum. It's a species orchid I got from Andes about two and a half years ago approximately. And it likes to be um, daily watered, kept moist, um, temperature is cold, intermediate warm, and with bright light. So not direct sun or full sun, um, not full shade uh, or anything like that, just bright light. So I have grown this in a variety of ways. I purchased it mounted and then it wasn't doing well. So I unmounted it and I grew it in a pot for a while and it did a lot better in the pot. It grew some beautiful roots and it grew... Um, several more growths for me and it actually bloomed uh, if you go into my playlist and look at my dendrobium playlist the bellatulum bloom that it did for me last season is in there and uh so after it bloomed it started growing another growth which just kept trying to go down into the pot so i struggled with you could see how this just splays out so I decided to remount it. So this is my attempt of remounting and it's on this beautiful piece of cork, uh, which a different dendrobium that I unmounted from this is potted up and doing great being potted up. Uh, so I'm really glad I had this beautiful piece, piece of cork uh, to use for this. And it has been growing on this for, oh, since I think late last summer into early fall and it's been doing really well and I have a beautiful bud a beautiful flower bud from one of the newer growths uh, I'm hoping someday I'll know I'll feel even more successful with this if I get multiple uh, growth forming buds last year it bloomed right from this flower spike right here where my thumbnail is pointing uh, and now it's blooming from the base of this growth. Uh, this one right here is one of the newer growths, as well as this one on this side, which made it difficult to be in the pot. Um, and I was surprised not to get blooms from that. So when this one bloomed last year, it it's like a two to three year old growth. And now so is this one. So I believe I'm understanding with this Bella Tulum that it doesn't grow on its, or it doesn't bloom from its newest growths. It blooms from the year before or even two years before. Uh, but you can see the roots going down into the moss. Uh, I'm going to give it a little drink after I'm done making this video. I watered it last weekend. As the summer heats up, I'll be watering more and more uh, with it being mounted. And I'm very excited for this one to, to open up and bloom for me. And I'll do a, uh, an update to the patio when things change up a little bit around here. And just a real quick segue. My Bifrenaria Arizona Anna flowers are amazing. They've opened up a lot more. Let's quick bring this down again. Oh my goodness, I just, I am loving these blooms. Look at the fuzzy lips. Look at those fuzzy lips. 
Oh, their scent is in now. This is the first time I'm smelling it. That is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh. I am so happy with this. It's very, very sweet floral. Oh, now it's starting to, I don't have my nose stuck up right next to it anymore. It's really, I can still smell it. It's like wafting up towards me. Oh, this is so beautiful. Okay, I have to highly recommend this one if you have room to grow it. This one's a little bigger, bigger of a plant. Um, and then the other uh, flower spike on this side. Oh my gosh, it smells so pretty. I'm sorry, I, it just keeps hitting me. Oh my gosh, so happy. And you can see some of the bud formation inside there. I love it. Well, if you're watching this, thanks for... Um, checking it out and uh, if you have any questions for me on these plants on the dendrobium bellatulum over here uh, which is also a very fragrant flower when it flowers I can't wait to smell it again uh, if you have any questions for me on this one how how I've been doing hopefully I explained a little bit with me trying to pot it up mounting unmounting remounting <laughs> and then this bifrenaria oh, 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 love it uh, otherwise, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Please give a thumbs up if you were happy with this video and we'll see you later. Have a great day.